Washable rugs, all the craze, all the rave, but are they worth it? You've heard of them, Ruggable, Tumble, that brand, this brand, are they legit? Well, I am going to discuss with you one of the three brands of machine washable rugs that I have had and used for the last few years. We'll decide if they're worth the craze, the rave, and the money. Stick with me, we got this. So the pros, let's get into it. Let's just face it, new loom rugs are beautiful. They are some of the prettiest patterns and unique designs that you can get. And I love that. I get so many compliments and I consider that a pro. They are non-slip. That is really, really important. I have dogs, kids, me, you know, running around, walking around. I'm carrying a kid on my hip. Dogs are running, kids are running. Having a rug that is actually truly, I would consider non-slip is very nice and you do not have to buy a separate mat, which is another pro in my opinion. So two pros, one point. But the non-slip angle, excellent. If you have a senior dog or a senior citizen, these low pile, no slip rugs could be a viable option. Durable, they are actually durable. My kids have taken scissors between them running around, muddy boots, cat claw, cat claws, dog claws, scissors, pencils, what have you. My kids, my dogs, my cats, they've tried it and they are surviving. So I'd say they are durable. They're soft. I love how soft they are. If you need soft, this is the rug for you. I'm just gonna say they're super soft without having to deal with the care of a soft shag rug. Let me tell you, the price, shopping around, looking around, you can't beat the price. For machine washable rugs or any area rug, their prices are pretty, pretty good. My rug, I believe, is like a nine by 12 and I paid less than $200. That's a steal. Now, prices do jump up and down. Um, so that's just what I got. Is this a nine by 12? Yeah, we're gonna roll with it link down below. Not only are they beautiful, but they are as pictured. I compared on my iPad, several computers, and my cell phone, and my hubby's phone. The images were consistent on all devices with, of course, some variation, but I was able to get a really good idea of what my rug was going to look like before I had it delivered. Oh, this is a perk. They are easy to return. Even the big guy. I have two of these rugs. I have a runner in my haul, which you've seen in other videos. I also have my big area rug. The big area rug we ordered second and they actually delivered the wrong rug. They sent me the matching to the, my runner, which I don't do matchy matchy. That's just not my personal taste. I ordered two rugs, similar colors, um, similar designs, but they are not the same pattern. And it was super easy to return. I had, we, I think we had it returned and taken care of within a week, maybe a week and a half. It was super fast. Go Amazon. They are stain resistant. Let me tell you, wine, poop, urine, chocolate, Georgia red clay. Have you seen Georgia red clay dirt? Oh my gosh, it will stain everything. Seriously, it's the worst. Oh yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, stains. These rugs are stain resistant. Oh yeah, coffee. Spilt lots of coffee. Might have cried about that one. And the wine and chocolate. They, this, these rugs do come clean, spot clean, um, pretty easily. But if you really want to get the stains out, you do need to actually machine wash them to get them out. Oh yeah, we've gotten pizza sauce on there too. Pizza sauce comes right out. Spaghetti sauce, red sauce. Oh yeah, we've gotten blood on it too. Ooh, let me tell you. These rugs, let me tell you, stain resistant. So that is a plus. Now the big question, the big pro that you really want to know, do these wash well? And yes, generally speaking, with a few things I will discuss later in the con section, they do actually wash fairly well, especially compared to other machine washable rugs I have had in the past. Stick with me later on in the video, we are going to go over care tips because it's not like a normal rug. Big con, they fade. The beautiful vibrant color fades after the first wash. Not terribly, but enough to, when you go back and you look at pictures, you just kind of go, aw. But it's still a beautiful rug. They have faded where we get a little bit more foot traffic. It's not, it doesn't look 
bad, but it doesn't look great. It's definitely something to keep in mind. However, the integrity of the rug is still there. It's just, there's a, there is, this, there's a, yeah, you can tell. When we move the, the sofa to vacuum underneath the sofa, the corner of the rug that has never seen the light of day is still the most vibrant. It's still not as vibrant as it once was, but it is the most vibrant portion of the rug. And I bought these rugs because of the vibrant colors. So thumbs down. They are thin. So even though they're non-slip, because of how thin they are, they kind of bunch up around the feet of your furniture and it is a constant straighten out the rug, straighten out the rug. And it's kind of annoying. This also is annoying when you're vacuuming. It is a constant battle and a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Thumbs down or two. Another point on the thickness of the rug. Let me just tell you, not exactly cushy. So for your kitchen, I say no go. I like it in my hallway. I like it in my living room, probably in my foyer, maybe in my dining room, but not my kitchen. It is not cushy enough for um, standing on when you're washing dishes and things like that. Now, if you're not wanting a rug for that purpose, it could actually work really well as far as the machine washableness, um, I would consider putting this in a bathroom because of uh, the fact that you can wash it. But uh, if you're wanting something when you're standing and you're gonna be standing there and you want that support, that softness, yeah, no, not happening. All right, let me be straightforward. Not luxurious feeling. Does not feel high quality. It doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it doesn't have that really nice Turkish or Persian uh, or just a nice woven rug feel. It just doesn't have that quality. I've had really good quality rugs in a house that we rented. It was um, a vintage rug and it was very nice rug. You could feel the quality. And this, man, just does not feel. Also, my sister-in-law, she has a uh, ruggable and the ruggable does feel um, more high quality. I have also had a different brand of machine washable rug that is uh, Turkish and it, the quality in it, it's uh, it's a low pile rug as well, but actually it's a no pile rug the way it's woven. Uh, and it just felt so much nicer. The quality was just there. This one just doesn't have the quality feel. Let's talk drying time. You have to run it on air dry. You cannot use heat or you have to lay it out. Washing, pretty good. More on that in a minute. The drying, it can take a whole day. Now the advantage is, is you don't have to go take it to be professionally clean. So you don't have to have it leave the house, but it does, it is an event. Now the runner, which is smaller, it's not that big of a deal. It's dry, air dry. You can run it on air dry cycle on our dryer and we have a, modern washer and dryer. They're probably one and a half years old at this point. Um, so they're nice, they're good, but they just do not get that nice, good dry in the dryer the first time if you have the large area rug. So, but it does dry by the next morning. More on that later. It's just, this is a this is an ordeal. Drying it is a bigger ordeal than I would like. Another issue I have, now, I think this has only happened once to my recollection, but one time when we washed it, we've washed it three times at this point. Um, we've almost had it for eight months. The big one, the the uh, the the runner we've had for 10. Uh, yeah, let me just say, it left a nasty film in my washer and I'm not quite sure why it did this last time we washed it. Uh, it was an ordeal, so buyer beware. That can happen. It's only happened the once, but it's still annoying. Now, pro or con, you decide. Thickness, like I've said previously, it is super thin. It is makes it lighter weight, which if you are a smaller stature means you can more easily pick it up, move it around and whatnot. It does unfold nicely from the box, can be rolled up compactly. So that's for you to decide. It is lightweight, so. If you want something down that's not gonna move, meh. If you want something lighter weight, could be a pro, could be a con. Again, it's up to you. It feels like a plushy toy, which means it's soft, but it doesn't exactly feel luxurious like a nice woven rug. So 
you're gonna have to decide that one for yourself. I'm still undecided on if I like that. Pattern does not have that woven effect. Again, if you don't like the woven, then you may find that nice. Me, I'd really prefer to have that woven feel. So again, you gotta decide. They are machine washable. So is that a pro or is it a con? On one hand, I would say it's a pro, but on the other hand, I'm going, I might would prefer just a really nice, high quality rug that I can just take a carpet cleaner to or take it to be professionally cleaned. I kind of wonder if that would do better. But on the other hand, the days that my kids vomit on it or spill something or what have you, it is really nice to just be able to throw it in the wash and go, the urine's not gonna have a chance to set in. Nothing has a chance to set in because I have a, I can quickly take care of it. So some days I feel like it's a pro and then other days I feel like it's a con, just being honest. Let me give you some care tips. If you're gonna invest in these rugs, which I think is a viable choice. I can't really complain. I do have some things where I'm going, is it a pro, is it a con? I'm a little undecided. But I have learned a few things. Care tip number one, use a lightweight vacuum or a vacuum that does not have the little spinny bristles thingies or that can be turned off when you use them. When you use a vacuum cleaner that is too heavy of weight or has too strong of a little sucky madooky majurker technical things, those are hard. When you're using those, it will move the rug because it is so lightweight. Even though they are not on slip, it's like this weird, it's not slipping, but it's moving moving and you're not really sure what is happening, especially with the smaller runner. So we bought this cute, adorable, it's purple and I gotta love it. Cute little purple vacuum cleaner and it works really, really great. Or we'll use the rainbow vacuum, you know, those big fancy vacuum cleaners. Yeah, vacuum door salesman back when it was a thing. We have one of those. It's great if you take the little nozzly wazzly thing that is designed for hardwood floors and you don't and you use that and not the one designed for carpets it actually works fairly well so comes clean easy to vacuum if you use the right type of vacuum for it so something to keep in mind drying tips let me tell you about drying these things the best thing the most effective thing that we have found is running on air dry once or twice and if it is still damp, don't waste your power, just spread it out. Do not put furniture back on it and let it dry overnight and it will be nice and dry by morning. That is my experience, I can't guarantee it, but like clockwork, that is how it's worked in our house. We have found a stain remover that works really, really well with this. It gets the stains out. Like I said, stains don't really stay on here. They seem like they may stay for a while and you're going, oh man, are they not gonna come out? And then you wash it and it's gone, poof. But as far as when it get, when the stains happen and you're using a spray, this is the one I recommend. Check it out. So would I buy this rug again? Yes, 